Welcome back, boys and girls. We're so excited to have you back with us again for yet another week of learning. So this week, we're going to be reading you a story. And with this activity that we're going to be doing, we want you to be really focused throughout the story because there's going to be some questions that we ask you. So we want you to focus on exploring the story with us. And it's going to be, you're going to be looking for who, the how, what, where, when, and why. And we want to make sure you're really listening, listening in for any details, any clues that you hear in the story that can get you to those answers. And we want you to see the details from the story. So for example, when you look for the who, you're going to be looking for who those main characters are. When you're looking for the what, you're going to be searching for what is happening in the story. So for instance, what are the main points the author is trying to get across to you? When you're looking for the when, you're going to be saying, are the event, where are the events, excuse me, when are the events of the story taking place? So that could be like the time period, the place that it's taking place. Where is the story taking place? You're going to be looking for the why. Is the character reacting the way they are? And the how. Will the character overcome the obstacle of the story? Today, we're going to be reading for you The Rain Dragon. A very long time ago, in a village at the foot of the Yellow Mountains, the sun had been burning the earth and drying up the rivers for days and days. The gardens, the fields, the roofs, and the roads in the village were covered in dust. Every evening, the villagers begged the rain dragon to tip his vase of water over the land. But the rain dragon didn't seem to hear them because the next day, the sun shone even brighter than before. So boys and girls, for this page, a really good clue is you're gonna look for when did this happen? And also, where did this happen? Like all the villagers, little Lee May was hot and thirsty. One day she heard a moaning sound. Where was it coming from? She looked and looked and found a fox in the shade of the old twisted pine tree. The fox was lying on the parched ground. Its tongue was hanging out like a piece of dry wood and its fur was covered in dust. Its breathing was very faint, like the rustling of dead leaves. Lei Mei said, if this fox doesn't drink, it will die. And so you also can be looking for the who. Lei Mei ran home. She took a few drops of water in a ladle from the last water pot. Then she quickly ran back to the old twisted pine tree, being very careful not to spill any water. Lee May put the ladle near the fox. The fox lapped up the water with his tongue, and then he got up and ran away. When Lee May got home, her family had no more water to drink. The last water pot was empty completely empty. So Li Mei decided that she would go find the rain dragon. She would leave early the next morning and go into the yellow mountains where the rain dragon lived. She would persuade him to make the rain fall. My dear parents, I have gone into the mountains. 
I will be back soon with a nice surprise. Don't worry about me. Your loving daughter, Lee May. So boys and girls, why is Lee May going into the mountains? What was she looking for? Lee May left home at dawn. She climbed for hours and hours. At the top of the mountain, she walked through a cloud. The cloud was cool and cheered her up. Further on, she came across a cave. Was this where the dragon lived? She went inside and called, Rain Dragon, are you there? But there was no answer. Lee May didn't give up. She called again, Rain Dragon, where are you hiding? Suddenly, she heard the sound of hooves. It wasn't the dragon. It was a winged horse carrying the rain dragon's water vase on its back. Lee May climbed onto the horse's back and they flew off into the sky. She tipped the vase and a drop of water fell out. Just one drop. Would that be enough to water the whole valley? Lee May tipped the vase over a bit more and two drops fell out, then five, then 10. Afterwards, the winged horse left Lee May on the ground. Soon terrible things began to happen. The river overflowed. Raging water flooded roads, farms and fields and swept the animals away. Lee May climbed onto a boat to try and get home to her parents. She cried, oh rain dragon, you who control the water, save me, save my parents and all the villagers, I beg you. At that moment, the rain dragon rose up from the water and climbed into Lee May's boat. How dare you go into the mountains, ride my horse, and use my rain vase without my permission, he shouted. Lee May crouched at the other end of the boat. She was too terrified to speak. So here we can think about how did the rain dragon feel when Lee May used his things without his permission. When the rain dragon calmed down, the water stopped raging. Then the dragon said in a gentler voice, yesterday you saved a fox by giving him some water. That fox was me. I would have died of thirst if you hadn't taken pity on me. The rain dragon went on. Although you used my rain vase without my permission, I shall save the village to reward you for being brave and good. So here, let's look out for a when. When did Lei meet Lee May meet the rain dragon before? And how did he look different the first time that she met him? The rain dragon spun around and round and then disappeared off into the distance. The water level in the river soon went back to normal. And Li Mei was able to get back to her village then. The farmers have respected the dragon as a symbol of life and power. Since then, they also have respected foxes, because in every fox, there could be a dragon hiding. Who knows? The end. So boys and girls, now we're going to go over some of the answers that you could have come up with. So for the where, if you can remember at the beginning of the story, they said where Lee May and her family lived. So they lived in at the foot of the Yellow Mountains in a place called, some people call it, it's a village. So a little place where her family lived. And this story actually took place in China. So you can tell that also from the clothes the characters are wearing. 
And then for the who, you could have come up with a couple of different answers as well. So for the who, you're looking for who are the main characters of the story. So if you guys put Lee May, that's one of the main characters of the story. We also had someone that showed up quite a bit in the story as well, and that would have been the Rain Dragon. So those are two really, really big people in the story. Okay, and then for the why, why is Lee May going to the mountains? You could either say that there was no water in the village or that she needed a drink or that her family needed a drink or the animals needed a drink. So those are all good for the why. For the what was she looking for? She was looking for the water. And then towards the end of the story, we see the answer to our when and how question. So when we asked you, how did the rain dragon feel about Li Mei using his stuff without his permission? I think you can see he felt really mad. He made it rain really hard. He looks very upset. And then when, we asked when did Li Mei encounter the rain dragon before? When did she meet him before? And he tells her that they met yesterday but he looked a little different. He was a fox. So when she saved the fox, she actually saved the rain dragon. I really hope everyone enjoyed reading the book with us this week and that you all were able to answer the who, when, where, why, and how of the story. We hope to see you back next week for another fun week of learning. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.